Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and flying beaver lovers out there. We are getting ready to launch some castings into the slide out area over top of the abyss pit to see who can get the longest jump. You know the drill. It's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Privet Grounds. Rock, drop, jump, folks. We've got three brand new rip and rolls. Going to be going two Hot Wheels, one Matchbox that needed to be freed. There it is. There they are. All three of them all coming up on Beaverworks Diecast Racing. Vehicles. Hot Wheels Alfa Romeo GTV6. 10 out of 10 from the 2023 Retro Racers. This is a new casting in version 1 out of the 6 so far. And it's got new wheels on it. And they look uh, pretty sharp. L4, whatever that means. Still cool. We'll check them out. Matchbox, a 1978 Subaru Rat. All right, straight up, Matchbox did 54 castings, a massive disfavor by entombing them in this abomination of a display medium. So do these castings a solid as a little side quest in life and free as many of them as you can from this tomb. Hot Wheels 73 Honda Civic Custom. 8 out of 10 from the 2023 J Import Series. Another new casting. Five versions so far. This is like a slam spoiler rocket with those tiny little aero disc wheels. All right, should be fun. They are up against the Rock Drop Jump this week, folks. It is three sections of off-the-shelf black track that goes over top of a 30-centimeter pit into the measured landing ramp. And then you've got the slide-out area at the end where you can get the extra style point. Check that out right there. Points, you're going to get one point for the longest distance per round, one point for the overall longest distance at the end, one point for stopping on your wheels, and one point for style or basically not slamming into the sides and making it look cool. Drop one. Here we go. First run for the Alpha Romeo. We got in house driver Cindy six pack because they kind of both look the same. All right, down off the ramp. Here she goes. Nice big air over the pit. Nice landing and didn't get the style bonus at the end because that's called slamming it right into the end rails. That means uh, the style comes from being able to avoid putting it into the sides there. Got all the rest of the check marks, landed on the wheels, and look at that. There it is. There it is. Still managed to keep it on the wheels, even though that was some less than affectionate contact with the rails there. All right, jump cam coming in at 41.5 centimeters. Now there's some benchmark to beat. Setting the bar high right off the start of the round. Okay, here it is in the igloo replay. Beautiful air, puts down and looks like she's trying to get it sideways. Just doesn't complete it there. Gets the point for keeping it on the wheels. And we'll have to see about the distance. There it is, 41 centimeters at one point. Drop two. Kowalski's going to be taking that 73 Honda Civic Custom down for his first run. He's got his little tiny car and his little tiny wheels. All right, see how it goes. And he's gone and it's... Yikes! That was right into the top rail. That was a little tiny distance. It didn't make it here. It isn't super slow mo. Boom! Oh yeah, here we go. We got one flip, two, almost a double into the pit. That was it for the Civic, folks. What an excellent cinematic slow mo view to the crew on that one. And there he is down in the uh, down in the uh, we call it the ice pit. Uh, got a nice little soft landing. Okay, let's check out some uh, replay on that one. We're not getting a measurement on the ramp because that is a pit. That is a complete DNF. Right there, and uh, you know, at the uh, first 30 centimeters, you gotta be able to make it over that distance right there. It's actually kind of like 29. All right, we got emergency crews down in there making sure we're gonna be able to pull Kowalski over there. He is one tough cookie. All right, folks, there it is DNF for the Civic. Drop three. Dial Dan Daryl's gonna be taking that Subaru Brat after we freed it from that pack. I'm telling you, man, I ripped on that thing pretty hard. All right, here he goes! Big air! He just touches the edge. He's able to make it onto the landing ramp, but it was not able to keep it on his wheels. That means he's gonna at least qualify for a measurement, but uh, that looked like it was a rough landing there. He's just right on the very edge. It looked like he might have took the log. Let's go check out the jump cam and see the distance on that one. 
Oh yeah, he's on the log right there. We call that 29 centimeters. Just barely made it onto the ramp, but still on the ramp is on the ramp. Eat blue replay. Look good coming down. Look good in the air. Maybe that uh, hood came open just a little bit. Going right through the air. Maybe that kind of obscured the vision, but there he is, turtled at the end, and that's going to be it. It's going to be 29 centimeters and zero points. Summing up round one, it looks like it's going to be the only points is going to the Alfa Romeo with two for getting the longest distance. Goose eggs for both the Subaru and the Civic. Hey kids, in case you forgot to tell your mom, Beaverworks has got a merch store and we're getting better at creating some new designs like this one for the Stone Road Challenge, our heavy off-road course here at the Igloo Proving Grounds, and another new design in our big booming Quake 3 voice. Die or die fast, die fast, race. Tell me that doesn't take you back, eh? All right, there it is on a shirt. There it is on a sticker. All sorts of different swag it's going to be available on, as well as the original flaming beaver head. Don't forget that one. The Beaver Works Merch Store. We get a cut, you get some dope merch. Spread Shop does all the work. The world is a happy place. Link is going to be in the description for the Beaverworks store, or you can just scroll down to the bottom of the video, and we got a bunch of items listed down there. The Beaverworks store. Go check it out and help the channel out. Drop four. Here we go. Second run for the Alfa Romeo getting back into it. You got Cindy's six pack all loaded up on the rack, getting ready to take off here. There she goes. You get the big drop. Nice big air again and sliding, sliding. Stops before the rail. That's the way you do it. We got a style point out of that one right there. Great looking jump. Looked like it was going to be excellent distance. Beautiful looking casting right there, folks. All right. There it is on the camera. Smooth as silk and right out the bottom, you got. Debris splashing in is able to stop before she gets into the rails. That's the way you do it. Nice, super slow mo landing going at 41 centimeters. Puts it right down at the 11 centimeter mark on the ramp, which is going to be 11 more than 30, which is 41. I'm pretty sure we got our mass speed on that one. All right, there it is, slow mo. Made it look easy. Just a beautiful slide out at the end. The Alfa Romeo Hot Wheels with that new wheels made it look excellent. 41 centimeters at two points. Draw five. Here we go. We got Kowalski going to be taking this Honda Civic down for its second drop. Anything's going to be better than that first one. All right, here he goes. He's down. He makes it almost. It's like he's on the ramp, so he did kind of make it, and that was kind of a really rough landing in that Civic. That little tires and those little wheels and that little Civic, hey, but still, there it is. Right there, looks like he caught that back axle. Just barely made the distance and did some uh, break dancing at the end there. That little back spin. All right. There it is. We're going to call it 29 centimeters again for the Civic this time. And uh, some excellent acrobatic coming out of that. Still not a style bonus because you got to keep it on the wheels and make it look kind of cool to get the style bonus. This is just kind of a random acrobatics and made that look pretty neat, but wasn't worth the extra point. There it is, folks. That's going to be the second run for the Honda Igloo replay right there coming with 29 centimeters and uh, zero points. Drop six. Second run for that Matchbox Brat. All right, look at that thing. That's Subaru Brat. First time here at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Final run of the evening, and here he goes. Makes the distance. Look a little endo sliding out. And at the very last second, he goes over. Almost had that style point. Man, that was a good looking run. Looks like he just barely made it onto the ramp. We're going to have to check that distance up. And look at this. Going for the style. Almost had it. It was just the edge caught at the last second. And over it went again. The Subaru Brat. Great looking casting. Greeted from its ugly package. And all right, let's see how much distance it got. And again, touching down with the rear wheels makes it 29 centimeters again. Just catching that. Big endo out the other side. Yeah, let's check out some Igloo replay. Final drop of the evening, folks. And it's in that Subaru. Boom! Right there. And looks like he's going to hold on to it. And it just 
flips at the end. Turtled again. This time's up on its side, just hanging out down there. Second run in the matchbox. Subaru Brat Nets 29 centimeters, zero points again. Final overall points is going to be that Alfa Romeo is going to be walking away with five points. Zero points for both the Subaru and the Civic because they just couldn't keep it on their wheels there. And so there it is, folks. Your winner for that night is going to be that Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0. There you go. It's a combination of numbers and letters because nobody can think of original name anymore, I guess. Anyways, there's the winner. Great jumping performance. Great looking wheels. Awesome looking casting. Same with that uh, 73 Honda Civic Custom. And the uh, Subaru Brat. It's thankful we got it away from that ugly packet came in there. Folks, there it is. That's going to be the rock drop jump for this week. Kind of a no contest there, but we rip and roll right out of the package. You never know what you're going to get. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, folks, if you haven't already. And there's that super thanks option. We really like that option, folks. It helps out a lot. That's wrapping it up for this week. So, as usual, great big Beaver Works shout out to all you good folks for coming out here and checking out our stuff. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing, we will see you next time.